Welcome back to Backyard Cars, and today we're going to tinker with Money Pit. We got to fix a tranny leak and maybe put a hood on, and we're going to try and dig into the column and, you know, try and get the ignition sticks to actually turn and work. I mean, they turn, but they don't turn the car on and off, so. All right, get your popcorn. Here we go. All right, now that money pit's in the air, let's get up underneath here and see exactly what's going on oh, with the transmission. Oh, I need a rag. I need a rag. All right. It's pretty, it's pretty wet, as you can see there. Can't do the wiggling thing, guys. The transmission has got fluid everywhere. Sunglasses are falling off. So, I don't have any carb cleaner or parts cleaner or anything right now. So, I'm just going to try and rub down these sides get all the gunk off so that when I do take the pan down I'm not dumping dirt and stuff everywhere and falling in my clean gasket when I go to put it back on there you know we done knocked all that stuff off the edge all right so we got you in here because we got all the bolts out except for one in the back and one in the front she's already dripping fluid but I want to bring you in so we can see what's going to happen here when we Let me get her loose. Well, it actually don't look too bad, you know. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. My head's falling off. I got mud in my ear. Okay. Great, it's all over me. Wonderful. I gotta get the back one out. Jeez. All right, let's just let it hang like that. Right. Hopefully it won't bend the pan too much. It's not in it. I gotta hurry. Oh, I really could have jacked this thing up a little higher. Could have done that, but I didn't. Could have done it, but I didn't. I think they wrote a song about that, didn't they? Okay. All right. Yep. Come on now. Uh huh. Let's not. Let's not do all that. Yep. Just like that. All right. Okay. That's good. Right. We can get out of here and get a rag. Don't stare at it too long. We're going to have to think about this. All right, get up from underneath there. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what we're going to do. All right, here, look. Here's the pan on the trailer, bench, whatever. Let's see what we got going on in here. Try to get the gasket out of the way. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh. That is great. Oh, here comes my daughter. Are you coming? Yes, I am, miss. Do you need me? Uh, I was going to ask you if I could get some, some of the Lay's barbecue chips. That's the ones that are already open? Yeah. Yes. Uh oh. That looks like entire pieces of clutch. And feels like 
Oh, that scares me. Okay, we're going to have to drain some of this fluid now and really examine what's in the base contents. All right, so here we go. We got as much of the fluid out as we can. I just try to get in here and show you. I'm going to hold it up with my foot here so that I can do some pointing. But we've got material all in the bottom. Of this. Now, it's not very thick when you... When you're thinking about it, I mean, that's not a lot. That's acceptable, right? But then you got pieces like this that make you say, ooh, that's, that's odd, you know? That's a pretty big chunk of clutch disc, it looks like. We've, we're missing a gear, right? I mean, she might be. She might be toast. We might have dropped a gear. Look at all this material here. Oh, man. Now, I'll tell you, the transmission has never shifted good since we got it going. And, <laughs> and then it, it had a bad leak. I'm assuming it was that pan gasket. And... And so we've put fluid in it twice, but I just figured we'd go ahead and fix the leak. But this doesn't look good. This doesn't say that the transmission's going to be hanging in there for us too much longer. All right. New pan. Well, not new pan. New pan gasket. We're missing one bolt right there. Um, you know, there was two missing. I dug in my bin. I found one. I just can't, I can't find two. So we're going to hope that she don't leak too bad right there. And we're going to search for another one. And we're going to monitor everything and see where she's leaking from. And all that good stuff. But it's back in. So let's get it on the ground. That would be good. And then we can put some fluid in it. Whoa, that came down hard. Oh. Oh, I gotta get under here and pop the hood. So we got it down. We got the trans fluid filled up. It took like almost two whole gallons and and it's all full. We, we did let it run and put it through its gears real quick and you know, top the fluid, all that good stuff. We don't see anything leaking. That's a plus. We're gonna let it sit while we now move on we're gonna swap this hood out and there's nothing wrong with this hood it's a good factory hood you could sand it down and and spray it it ain't got no rust i don't you know looking across it running my hands across it it don't have no dings dents none of that so i mean it's a good hood but we got a two inch cowl hood from a friend of ours he owns a body shop just Gave it to my son, so why not throw it on? You know? I, that's what I said. Exactly. Let's get on it. So here's the cowl hood we're putting on. Cowl hood. Not too shabby. Well, you really can't see. It's just a little two-inch cowl hood, and it's already flat black, so it'll make it look like we did something to the car. Right? So... We took the front one out, loosen the rear on each side. So now we'll just get on each side, undo the bolt, take the hood off. Real easy. You need two people. You can't, you can't do this by yourself. Don't let them fool you and say, oh yeah, you can do this, because you can't. Well, voila, we got it on there. It was a pain, and I missed, missed time my finger on the camera, so we, we didn't even get to see it going on. But well, you didn't miss nothing. You know it's a struggle putting a hood on. So, just initial lineup. We're a little long on this side. That body line ain't too bad. We're almost perfect right there, but then we're off a little bit over here. And that body line ain't too bad. So, I think we can make a little quick little simple adjustments and, and sort it out. And then, of course, wash it. But, you know, looks a little different with the cowl hood huh that adds you know 50 horsepower we all know that 
All right, hood is on and adjusted, and she closes. And the gaps aren't aren't great, you know, but it it looks better than it did, and it it works like it should, and that's key, you know. And there we go, money pit. You get the free, you know, cow hood. Not too bad. Let's see if I get a better angle over here for you. I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. So now we got a hood. We're going to wash it, of course, and all that good stuff. And you can see that. Now, I think we're going to get in here and attempt to fix on this column. The steering wheel's got to come out. All this junk's got to come out because of the steering rod gear pinion thing, you know, with the teeth and the it you when you do the turny thing it does the pushing stuff i don't you know i don't know the technical thing it's the the teeth pushy thing in here it's got to it's got to come out so we can replace it all right i had to move the car just in case we don't get you know completely done here we can let it sit here with no steering wheel on it so we got to take this nut off and you know how that goes Get the pulley puller, pull the wheel. You know how how much this is a bummer. No one ever has fun doing this. So I finally got it by using the really long bolts and being able to wiggle it and get them centered. And then ran it off and popped the wheel off. So now we're into this mess. Great. All right, you got three screws that hold the turn signal thing in there where we gotta take the turn signal off. You need to get the hazard out. These are not, look, these are the screwdrivers that break every time I try to take the screw out with them, so I'm a little leery on them. Now that one, that's too skinny for that. That's two. And we manually turn our blinker to get the third. This piece should just slide on out. I don't have to lose the screws. There's going to be some wire right down underneath the column here you're going to have to tug on. So you can get it to slide up and out of the way. And like I said, you know, don't drop the screws because you'll never find them again. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ignition tumblers out. We're trying. We got to get all the way to the 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 thing of bomb, you know. I got to. I'm gonna have to pull flip or something out of here. We might be going deep into here. We I think we got to get this cover off now, so that we can get to where that you know gear sets up in there. Something. Is it in there? I gotta get in here? I don't understand. I need this contraption off and that's not gonna happen. Okay, so this is gonna be a little more involved than I wanted to. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to drop this bottom panel and the collar off the bottom of the column so I can get this wire harness off of here and hanging so I can get this off. Get enough play to pull this off the shaft because because we got to get up in here where this doohickey rides on this doohickey I mean if you turn around now you're just a quitter all right there's no sense in you guys watching all this let me get this bottom cover off get the panel off of there and we'll be back brb so i had to regroup i got it all tore down yesterday but the the actuator gear piece here that they sell is not the correct one anywhere. I went to every parts store and everyone's got the wrong one. It looks identical, but it's too fat. It won't fit down inside the column in the little groove it's supposed to slide in. So I did the wrong thing and disassembled a 72 Chevelle column to get this piece out to put in here. So that cost me a buck fifty. And now, now it's raining. So I'm sitting in the car while it's raining. 
here and there to put it back together. And now we're going to put this whole piece back on here and start to put the column back together. And we're not going to have a horn. We're going to have to hotwire that. But here we go. Oh, we got a break in the rain. Let me open that door. Let's try and get it, start getting it back on the car. It's got to slide down through the bottom collar. I had to disassemble the entire car column just to, just to get to this. All these bits and pieces. This is a disaster. I can understand why the people before me just used the rod. They just didn't care. I don't remember. Three, four screws holding that together. No. I don't remember. I put them all right down here though, so we can easily find them again. And of course I'm only finding two. My question would be, how did I lose two of them and I didn't leave the car? Oh, look at that. I know, I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. I tested it. I'm sorry. Like all good mechanics, I didn't pay any attention when I disconnected everything. I just set everything in piles, but I never really paid attention to where anything went. I think I probably do need this ring thing in there. Yeah, it looks like it. That's my little... That's how you lose parts. Never finding that again. Nope. Looky there. I found it. What if I just put it in the hole? Oh, it ain't going to work anyhow because we're not going to have this ring in there. Okay. Does it even need that? It just needs this. It doesn't need that piece. What if I just jam this in there? And just let it sit. Well, we fought with it. But we finally got the little clip back in there. And, and I got it back together. It, it was a pain, but it happened. And now... Now I can at least lock the, the wheel, you know, when we, when, we, when we pull the key out of it. I got it all back in there and together. The spring ain't in there, it ain't exactly right, but I got it so it locks and, surprise, something else. What else? I don't know. Oh, the blinkers actually turn off, I think. We'll have to see that when we get it running, but... I'm going to go under here and put the column back up now. Just, you know, hanging that bracket. And nothing fancy to see. So I'll bring you back when it's up. And, yeah. There we go. Column back together with the new steering wheel. It's the Chevelle one from the 72, but it is key. Working. You gotta love it. It worked. I mean, it wasn't, it didn't go exactly how we had planned, but it went. So now let's wipe it down. Well, now that we got the repairs done, we wanted to make and got the ignition, you know, working. The only thing left to do is take it for a spin. And so I'm going to leave you with some shots of us cruising. We appreciate you watching. We thank you for your comments and hopefully you come back and see what we do next time. Enjoy.